Ladies and gentlemen, could we have your attention? Ah! Can we have your attention, please? Can we have quiet on the set, please? We've been dealing with some technical issues. We think we may have them sorted out. We're gonna try one and see how it goes from here. So please give all of your love and support and wishes for happy electronics to our very good friend, Molly Lewis. I was laughing really hard at Tompkins and Seth, so I don't know if I have a voice anymore, but we'll find out. Can you hear her okay yet? I'm... Woo! All the ladies in the house say, whoa! Whoa! Okay, they can hear me, good.
understand it okay, right? Okay. We might have this now. I'm going to get the other you. It's going to be like the dog walking scene in 101 Dalmatians, but with ukuleles. Super adorable. Right. My hands are busy, but if you have a ukulele that you have not yet flashed at me, come and see Dammit Liz about getting your Mali Gras beads. So I wrote this song. Um, it's a song in three parts. It's about the Abraham Lincoln assassination because kids love presidential assassinations. And it's called Our American Cousin. Or is it? <laughs> I just like to say 
that this is the most handsome audience I have ever played for. <laughs> in the most bizarre venue I have ever played in. <laughs> Records being set here. And my center of gravity is in a different place because I'm wearing heels and that never happens. And I'm on a boat which is like doing this on the sea. So you should be, I guess, videotaping for YouTube because interesting things are probably going to happen. <laughs> to go across the stage to the bar if you would like um, but when you come back we're probably all going to go chug 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 so keep that in mind uh, it, yeah it's Mardi Gras so who am I to keep you from your drinkage uh, I would be a terrible leader um, uh, this next one is a breakup song because every girl songwriter needs to have one um, and it's breaking up with Wikipedia, which we've all been forced to do this week. Well, most of us. Um, and kind of miss it now that it's gone a little bit. But we must remember the, the bad things as well. Um, and the song is called It All Makes Sense at the End. Break it 
because I have so much hair. Right. There it is. Awesome. You look beautiful. Thank you. I don't know. Space president, look. Um, <laughs> what do I have now? Uh, I had another cover, but where did it go? Uh, it doesn't matter. The ukulele chord czar, Joel Watson, <laughs> who is almost doing a good job. All right. Whoa, now. I'm just going to play like this, I guess. It's going to rub on the buttons, and that's not great. Um, this is the second song I ever wrote. Um, it's about um, an astronaut named Lisa Nowak, who in, what, 2006, drove from Texas to Florida, allegedly wearing adult diapers. Um, but according to the media later, she was not actually wearing the diapers, but as of the writing of this song, um, I thought that she was and I kept it that way because that's the kind of world I want to live in. <laughs> and it's called Road Trip.
mix of my songs and cover songs to fill time, but I've played most of my songs. Yay! I'm gonna do kind of a mopey cover song that I like a lot, and so I'm gonna play it, because damn it, it's my show. Um, and I think it is from, it's from some film that John Bryan did the music for. Probably Punched Drug Love, but I don't know because I haven't seen it. Um, but it's called Here We Go. writing about a year and a half ago and um, since last cruise I sang it for the person that it is about um, and like who is familiar with my work and does not need the explaining of this song who might need the explaining of this song don't be shy okay so um, 
This song is uh, based on how I uh, originated on the YouTubes. And on the YouTubes, uh, the commenters are usually really mean. Uh, but uh, the positive reception that I get, um, the most common thing, no, that's not really true. But the highest compliment you can pay somebody on YouTube, at least under my observation, is offering to have their babies. And I get that from men, which is kind of weird because they don't have the facilities to do so unless they're like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Mr. Mom, but that's not, a, that's not gonna happen. Um, and so this song is not entirely about that. It's about actually offering to have somebody's babies because you appreciate them and want them to continue in the gene pool. And specifically, it is about Stephen Fry. And uh, last, but really, I think a year from today, What's today? The 21st? The 22nd? 21st. Okay, so a year from a year ago from, since tomorrow, um, I went to Harvard and sang this song for Stephen Fry to his face. <laughs> because the internet is crazy. Um, and so it's called An Open Letter to Stephen Fry. Your heart is promised to a man, and so I have no hope to win it. But consider my proposal, sir. If you can find a minute, I think the future of our species would be better with you in it. I know you have your problems, and maybe I have mine, but you should leave some. my body on the line Mr. Stephen Fry I see no reason why you would want someday maybe to let me have your baby you would be amazed what science does these days so think it over and send along your scene I guess. Yay! Where we all have to go? Nowhere. Oh, except Joko Karaoke. What time is it? Uh, five minutes, ten minutes till then, but you can sing as long as you want. Yeah, yeah let Jonathan eat cake. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Because I've got like three more songs, so he's just going to have to wait. Um, 
Um, so this song was actually the only song that I've written so far on commission. And the people that commissioned it are actually here somewhere. Um, Kathleen and Adam, if you're here, could you jump around and flail your arms? They're setting up karaoke. God damn it. Well, I guess I won't do that song. Um, I have to make sure I know it. Um, but yeah, so you've seen Adam around. He's got a fancy camera and a giant rabbi beard um, and like Harry Potter glasses. And so his wife Kathleen was like, it's Adam's birthday. Um, can you write him a song about beards? And I was like, I don't know what that means. And she was like, you'll figure it out. And so, um, and so because now you know that backstory, I can do the little preamble that I wrote. And it's called the year of the beard. And when I cue you, you will all you will go. It's the year of the beard. Let's practice. It's the year of the beard. Excellent. Okay. Okay. When I thought of Adam's birthday, I first thought of his beard and the strands of his beard, so curly and so long. And I thought of his beardalos as they blazed the facial hair frontier. And how Kathleen asked me to write for him this song. All you're saying is. Give beards a chance. Why, I bet all hair wishes it could be in a beard. You know, pubic hair is nothing but a beard inside your pants. Um, I think I just made it weird. Whatever. Let's just sing about it. Beards, they're like an apron on your neck. Beards, they're like a scarf scarf in every season. They're there to make sure that your collarbones get shade. A fuzzy fringe just for your chin. It's the year of the beard! I hope you don't find it weird. I prefer my jawbones unsheared. But I myself cannot grow a beard, just as I had feared. But some faces are just engineered for beards. And you may find yourself endeared towards beards. So I recommend that you get nearer to beards and sincerely cheer for beards. Like a lion's mane on your face because they're beards. They're like a whore crux for your manhood. <laughs> they're the bouncer for the party in your mouth. Don't let the hipsters make you cynical. Be your beard short or downright rabbinical. You should show everyone you know it's the year of the beard. For my second to last song, um, I would like to ask the ukulele melee from last night if they could come somewhere in this, join me somewhere in this area. Last night we all gathered around the pool and they were like, we should all play something. And so we all learned to play something, the Beatles song. <laughs> See what we did there? There are more of you. Don't be ashamed.
something in the way she moves attracts me like no other lover something in the way you use me i don't want to leave you now you know i believe in how this evening. So we're going to do one. And so, oh that's true, it was not, it was They Might Be Giants covering something, so putting on layers here. Um, and free, feel, free, feel free to sing along if you know any of these bits. Okay. Ready? Sure. Okay. Are you ready? I can't hear you. I can't hear you actually. Constantinople, get the worst. That's nobody's business but the turn. 